Okay, the list box object is a very complex object as you can see and it's got a wide range of actions as a result. So let's go ahead and double click on our page and in the actions area we'll choose the add action button and select list box from the choose a category pull down menu. As you can see here there's a wide variety of actions and most of them are aimed towards dealing with data or user input. Okay, we've got the typical stuff here like get position, set position, get size, and set size. So we can do those typical things that we do with most objects. But in addition here we also have some um, actions such as get selected count, is item selected, set item text, and so forth, which are mainly allowing us to deal with the uh, menu itself that's being presented to the user and how the user is dealing with the um, information, for example, whether the item is selected. So these are quite complex and as you can see there's a wide range. So we'll go ahead and take a look at a couple examples and uh, try and explain some of this stuff a little bit more in depth.